You're watching News Channel 12 at 6. It's been a busy day at all corn state. Firing and hiring all in the same day. The Melvin Spears era comes to an end as Alcorn State's football coach. It only lasted a year, but this isn't the only major change in Lorman. You see, the Braves hired a new athletic director, Patrick Pop Simon. But first, let's start with Spears. The university did not give an official reason for firing him, but here's what has transpired over the last few months. Now, the Braves finished a disappointing 2-8 and eight this past season, capping off that disappointment with a 51-7 loss to their rival Jackson State in the Capital City Classic. Now, the university put Spears on administrative leave back in December, pending a hearing partly because of an off-the-field altercation with a parent of a former player. So the writing was on the wall. And this past offseason, alumni were asking for Spears' dismissal, even letting it be known on the Braves' radio show. Now, the fans became upset when Spears benched star quarterback Brandon Bridge and then dismissed him from the team. So the fans then boycotted by stop coming to games. In their last two home games, the Braves drew just over 1,000 combined fans in attendance. And if the fans aren't showing up, that's a problem. So the athletic department made a move. And the moves don't stop there. Simon, as we mentioned, was named new athletic director. And he has spent the last four seasons at Langston University in Oklahoma as the Lions athletic director. Now, the football team won two conference championships under Simon's watch. Defensive line coach Todd McDaniel, well, he's going to serve as coordinator of football operations and together with Simon they will conduct a nationwide search to replace Spears. Now from the gridiron to the hardwood it's championship week over at the big house. Bailey Magnet School representing Jackson in the class 3A semifinals. While Boonville is the defending champs and the Blue Devil fans took over the Coliseum. Watch them right here they are fired up and their team felt the energy. How about Darius Leach dialing it up from long distance drains of three so Boonville led 24-17 at the break. But nice ball movement here from Bailey as they storm back. And that's Lurie Dixon. Yeah, his feet were set. That was nothing but nylon tying it up at 38. But in the end, Boonville knocks off Bailey 59-55. For other action from earlier today, just go to WJTV.com. Click on Sports. Let's head over to Oxford for some matinee baseball. Ole Miss taking on UNC Wilmington in the opener of a three-game series. Now the Rebels' Bobby Wall pitched in the illustrious Cape Cod League this summer, and it paid dividends. Seven innings, no runs, one hit, nine Ks. In the third, we're scoreless no more. That's Alex Yarborough providing all the run support Wall would need. Ole Miss blanks UNCW 2 nothing. Game two tomorrow at three from Oxford. Over in Startville, flair for the dramatics. Kansas, Mississippi State. Chris Stratton with the K in the top of the ninth. He went six scoreless innings in relief. In the bottom frame, we were scoreless, scoreless no more. Wes Ray lines it off the wall. C.T. Bradford motoring around all the way from first. Bulldogs win one nothing. And wow, we're still in February. All right, another local D1 action. Southern Miss is shut out three nothing at home by Troy. And Jackson State drops a doubleheader at Moorhead State 12-4, 7-6. All right, MMA fans, are you ready? Because the action is back. Beat down in Jacktown 2 takes place tomorrow night from the Jackson Regency Hotel. Well, 13 fights are on the card, so it should be some exciting action. Today were the weigh-ins, everyone trying to make weight. The main event features Ridgeland firefighter Brian Alvin fighting back in Jackson for the first time since taking on former UFC fighter Houston Alexander. He took him to the brink in June. He's excited this time around. I love fighting in front of the hometown crowd, man. There's nothing else like it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm anxious. This is the first time I've ever fought this light. And usually I'm at 205, I'm at 195 this time, and it was a horrible cut. I mean, it was very tough on me, but, uh, you know, I'm kind of anxious to see what happens with it. So come on out, cheer on Alvin and some other locals. Tomorrow night, beat down in Jacktown to the Jackson Regency Hotel and Conference Center. Again, tomorrow doors open at 6. Fight start at 7. Should be exciting, and that's your sports for tonight.